Um, Cumberland Banner Snatch, which is a great handle. Uh, if I get an MP4 file from somewhere, would you want that? Like, hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, don't send it to me. But if it shows up in the uh, chaos sheet and I happen to see it, or it happens to end up on YouTube somehow, I didn't, you know, I didn't tell you to do it. I didn't say, I didn't say to do it. What do you mean? Don't do that. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Uh, hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Live. I am live and Jarvis, uh, I am live and Jarvis. Maybe that's the intro to this channel, um, slash Twitch stream. I'm live right now, though if you're watching this on YouTube, then I was live some time ago and you are now watching a recording of a live, you know how this works. Today we're watching uh, Moment of Truth Season 2. Episode one, I've skipped ahead in the timeline because for those who don't uh, remember, I watched all of Moment of – all like the first season of Moment of Truth on like six months ago and I deleted all my VODs for it except for a few. And I've been re-watching episodes of Moment of Truth uh, and re-recording my – just like re-watching them on stream, hashtag Taylor's version. And today I want to get a little spicy with it. I want to get a little jiggy with it because I am going to watch an episode of Moment of Truth that I've never seen again. I feel like a child. I feel like I'm playing Squid Game like I used to back in the day. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, I mean there's not much more to say, but it is very difficult to find Moment of Truth Season 2 episodes because – the people who own it have privated most of them, um, but there's some on YouTube still. So we are watching season two, episode one. And if you have any information about <laughs> – it's like a missing person or something. Uh, if you have any information that could lead – or a uh, like a uh, – what was it? What was it? Um, America's Most Wanted thing where it's like if you have any information that could lead to the finding of some of this Moment of Truth season two lost media – uh, add to our spreadsheet that'll be linked in the description. Currently, I have Twitch chat um, trying to put together a spreadsheet of missing episodes for season two, and we're we're doing we're doing something. Um, and that's how the content continues. Uh, and now we're back. Now we're back. It's season two, episode one. The knockout right away. All right. Get ready for season two of America's most talked about show. This season, the questions get tougher. Yeah, you're going for the knockout right away. <laughs> and the emotions run higher. Have you ever thought you might have a child I'm, that no one has told you about? I'll tell you what. I am way more excited to watch this show now because before I was like, I know I'm not going to be super surprised because I'd seen everything. Now I truly do not know what's going to happen and I'm psyched. Does Jarvis have a Mac or is that just Windows 11? I'm on a Mac. Yes. Josh. Have you had sexual relations with any of your husband's friends and never told him about it? The answer is yes. I feel like bad things, but I love him. This season, there will be more surprises. Have you ever oh. dated a transsexual? Oh, dear. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm just going to... Uh, I really wish that I could just say... Uh, Trigger warning, moment of truth, but like I do not know what we are going to see. Um, uh, sexism, uh, transphobia, probably. The thing is, a lot of the trigger warnings are like probable trigger warnings, you know, like. I really want to just do TW two thousand eight, but uh. Yeah, it's hard to give a specific. Uh, um, maybe I'll just I, – I won't give an official trigger warning, but I'm going to write uh, warning um,
warning before the video of possible trigger. I just don't know what's going to be in the video. I haven't seen the video, so I don't know what's in it. Yeah, I like warning possible bigotry of all types. Thank you, uh, Stardust Lesbian, for the front. Here comes our special guest. <sighs> yeah, okay, so real quick. And I, I okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to... Oh, <laughs> Miles, thank you for the raid. Dude, shout out to Miles. Um, I will address this now, but not later on. If you have any questions about the spreadsheet, I can't answer them while we're watching the episode because it's going to kind of disrupt the flow of everything. But the $500,000 winner, part one, is on YouTube. Um, and so, yeah, you just put that somewhere and like label it. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just say uh, warning, unscreened content. It's just this is a lot of words in a title, and at some point it looks like word soup, and I don't know if that helps anybody, you know? Um, but I want to help everybody is the problem. Um, but I up I updated it. Have you ever dated a transsexual? Here comes our special guest. This is a moment that's been built. Oh, and someone was asking for captions. For 18 years, this is your biological father. I wrote it a long time. Oh, you know what? What if we? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What if we did a command for like trigger warnings that we updated for like long ones? You know what I mean? Like, uh, like what if I did like trigger warning and then like exclamation point TW and then, okay, Kira, no, Kira, I think I saw something like in, in the, um, okay, okay, okay. So so we can write out a longer thing. So I'll just do like two W like exclamation point two W. And then it's like, Oh, I mean, Kira, I trust you on this, but yeah, it's unscreened content that we have known to include like, and then just the works basically. I hate saying the works, Jesus Christ. It's yeah. 2008. We lived through that time. For this, day. this season. Payouts get bigger. You just won $100,000. $200,000. That's a lot of money for me and my girl. For three hundred fifty. dollars uh, Creamy cheese, of course. And one person will make it all the way to the final question. I was not sure we would ever get to this moment. Who will get question 21? Oh, man. And what question is worth a half? Oh, flashing lights. Jesus Christ. So. Dollars. Oh, here it is. I was just about to say, I was just about to tell the chat because we were on IMDb earlier and in episode 10, in episode 10 of season two, we saw this question and we were like, we have to find, this is why we have to find all the season two episodes. abducted by a UFO on November 5th, 1975. I have to know. Oh my God. I have to see the content. This isn't episode 10. No, he's just doing a season. This is the season premiere for season two. And so he is, um, he is, uh, uh, like, or not, he is, like, it's Mark Wahlberg. Um, the show is giving a season preview. 
Do you think your father was wrong to set you up on a What's up, Jack of Trips? Three-year-old man when you were a teenager. Oh my Almost God! Over. Dude, exclamation point! Trigger warning. Show on television. Do we have? Okay. Is back. Oh God. Imagine putting that shit in the fucking season preview of your show on prime time on a major network, Fox, at like a uh, at, at like a normal time. Do you know how popular Moment of Truth was? I'll show you how popular Moment of Truth is. Moment of Truth is so popular that they made a card game for it. You know, when you like go to a Walmart or a Target. Um, so I do not own this, but people are selling this on eBay. Yeah, people are selling this on eBay. Yeah, maybe um it's for two or more players. Maybe maybe I'll buy this and try to get Eddie to play it with me or something. <laughs> Um, and it starts right now. I don't want you to hear that. Holy moly. Tonight, in these chairs, the only thing that separates our participants from $500,000 is 21 questions. And their ability to answer each one of these questions with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Um, Bessie, I found a link to question 21 on uh, episode 10, season two. Should I put that link somewhere? Yeah. If you can make like a separate area for it on, um, on the spreadsheet, I do think I've seen that one, but yeah. Is there an honest person left in America? Um, a word to the mods, uh, actually let me make a copy again of this. this. This is like snapshot. Snapshot Thursday 7. Just just for my ease of use. So, uh, word to the... Uh, Joe, thanks for the gifted. Word to the mods for the um, trigger warning uh, command. We should put a last updated time. So... So I, we have active trigger warnings. We should say active trigger warnings as of and then put like the date because people – we may forget to update it and and then and then uh, someone can hit that and they probably would want to know that it applies to today, like what we're doing today versus uh, – um, you know how sometimes it will be like exclamation point shirt and then it will be like Jarvis is wearing a pink shirt and they're like Jarvis isn't wearing a pink shirt. Like, the, just, like, because I want people to, if they have the date, then they'll be able to trust it or, or, or know that it's actually current. I'm Mark Wahlberg, and this is the moment. Because the last thing you want is for someone to accidentally. No, Cecily, I'm sorry. No, but the uh, the last thing we want is for someone to be lured into a false sense of security and then be surprised with something that is triggering, you know? Um. So, so... Also, chat in the future. Let's we like please remind us to update the trigger warning command so that it can be a useful resource for the people that that need it. Thank you for being a member of this community, and I will not turn this stream around. We will keep going on our road trip towards whatever the fuck this is. Of truth. time on the moment of truth an engaged couple will have to work together in an attempt to win five hundred thousand dollars yeah we're gonna go for it this young couple from miami florida have invited friends and family members to cheer them on but as truth See, they brought a lot of people are revealed 
the tension increases between the future in-laws. Would you be happy if you... Okay, I don't want to know this stuff. Okay. Prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test. Cody did watch this one. But if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. You're right, so maybe I have seen some of this. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they could change their answers tonight. Let's meet our participants. I'm like, should we switch to season two, episode two? Or should we just go for it? I feel like if I start, I'm starting season two, I should at least go in order. But we'll watch this one and then we'll watch season two, episode two. Jeff Schuler is a 25 year old real estate agent. Denise Wick is a 20. Also, Cody's video on it is not the full episode because it's like a 17 minute video or something, and this is going to be 40 something minutes. 22 year old receptionist. Five year old real estate agent. Denise Wick is a 22 year old receptionist. They live in Oceanside, California, and are engaged to be married in one year. They were asked over. They're engaged to be married in one year. Interesting. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Jeff Schuler and Denise Wick. This is your moment of truth. It's two people, yeah. Is the audio okay? Well, this is a first for me. You're our first engaged couple on the show. You look great together, at least at first glance. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? Excited. Any concerns? Uh. <laughs> we'll find out. Denise, how are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous? <laughs> yes. Do you think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of everyone? The reason I feel so bad for anybody who's on this show is because when you apply to be on game shows, you don't apply to just one show. You apply to like the whole... I think about that like Scott Kramer video uh, where he applied to all the shows, but I think a lot of people apply to multiple. And so if the one that you get is moment of truth, you could have just as easily have been like on family feud or something, you know, and, and you would not have had nearly a, uh, harrowing experience. Yeah. You could have been on deal or no deal. But instead, you're on the the relationship destroyer show, the family destructor show, the life imploder show. Yeah. Jeff says yes, me. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. There are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the questions get. And the more money you can win. You can quit at any time, as I said. You <laughs> this is a whole other family feud. Damn straight. Our chatter of the day, uh, our, oh shit, fuck. Our chat of the day goes to, this is a whole other family feud from uh, uh, Pastel Soy Boy XX. Um, if you want to be the chatter of the day, uh, then you got to be here live over on twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson. You can take the money, but once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And if you are caught lying, both of your games are over. Okay? Jeff and Denise, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, but friends and family have joined us to hear your truth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kira, I think we, I really just grab a, a, a person in the chat uh, to, to advertise the, to like plug the Twitch stream for the YouTube VOD, like once, once a stream or whatever. So I don't think we need a command, but thank you. You're always so helpful. Shout out to all the mods who are here. Thank you, everybody. You're wonderful. Everyone's so wonderful. This full house. We got so many people here. Let's meet them right now. Hi, my name is Eloisa and I'm Jeff's mom. Hi, my name is Sean and I'm Jeff's brother. Hi, I'm Lori and I'm Jeff's sister. Hi, I'm Steve and I'm Denise's brother. Hi, I'm Michael and I'm Denise's brother. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm Denise. Lots of earrings in this family. Also, there's no way I'm going to remember who is whose brother. Like just the the sheer earrings in this. This is three ears right here, full up on earrings. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm Denise's friend. Wow. This is like the wedding already. You got the groom side <laughs> and the bride side. You're not mixing it up at all over there. This will make or break it. Make or break it. <laughs> wow. 
Now, why did the family subject themselves to this? I know you say that sort we'll of thing, but that crime. may be very, very true. How do you all feel? <laughs> Dude, Mark Wahlberg with a full season of Moment of Truth under his belt is like an old pro, and he's like. You're so young. You're so full of optimism. And he's like, that very well may You joke, but that very, <laughs> that very well may be true. Now, I know you say that sort of in jest, but that may be very, very true. How do you all feel about that? Hands behind it's his back. See what's going on. Dude, this, he looks like the freaking... Uh, uh, what, what, what's, it, what's it called? The front man <laughs> in, um, in Squid Game. Do it. Good luck, you guys. Here we go. All right, Jeff and Denise, level one has six questions. All you have to do is answer those six truthfully, and you win $10,000. And keep in mind, if you're ever concerned about an answer you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them tonight. So you're my first engaged couple, OK? And I'm thrilled to have you here. And like I said, you look great together. Have you set a date? Already we're stuck? That was just Already? <laughs> conversation. I have. Were you aware of this? Wait, she's like, I've set a date? <laughs> Wait, that's not how that works. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, am I an idiot? Or, like, do both people need to be at the wedding at the same time? <laughs> like, maybe I don't understand how weddings work. But I think that, like, the bride and the groom have to agree on the date because they both need to be there together. That was just making conversation. <laughs> Jarvis and his comparisons to Squid Game. I'm I'm not gonna stop. And also, if if your take is you compare everything to Squid Game, well, uh, Squid Game is you know criticizing capitalism. So that's the whole point is that we can see Squid Game and all of these other other things, right? Um, I was gonna make another reference to Squid Game while I'm at it, which is I like to imagine Mark has like an archive room that's full of all of the contestants of Moment of Truth and all of their like you know, uh, all the information from all the years that he was on <laughs> the, on the show in a little book. I think that would be cute. I have. Were you aware of this? Yeah. <laughs> how, how long have you been engaged? Uh, two years. You're not really rushing into this at I all, like, are you? I, well, I kind of like to play it safe, you know what I mean? Well, you're in the wrong place for that, my friend. <laughs> These reaction shots are something else. Are you good with money, Denise? Spending it. <laughs> <laughs> Question one is for you, Denise. Have you ever taken money from Jeff's wallet without his knowledge? <laughs> Jeff, how do you think she's going to answer this? I already know. Denise, what do you say? Yeah, there's so... Yes. I mean, this I, I I'm not here to judge like their dynamic, but I'm you know there is a a, a cattiness that I'm picking up, but uh, you know maybe that's just how they communicate. That answer is. <laughs> so say they look like Pam and Roy. True. It's an interesting energy. Whatever I mean, look if it works for you, it works for me. We're on our way. No surprises there. What's the most she's ever taken out of your wallet without letting you know? Not well, the, your wallet. It was your nightstand. The most that I know was 250 bucks. But that I know of. Would you say you guys are an equal partnership? I I definitely try, you know. Do you live in the same place? You live together? Yeah. Question two. Have you ever felt that Denise does not pay her fair share of the bills? <laughs> She's like, I, I pay, what are you talking about? I paid my fair share. I took $250,000 off of your nightstand and I used it to pay the bills. Don't say I never did nothing for us. Well, that's a no brainer. Um, yes. That answer is. <laughs> the audience, burn her. True. Okay. Two truthful. Jeff, what do you do for a living? I'm a real estate agent. Okay, you make a good living. Jeff's hair looks like somebody like played some 41 on an iPod like next to his head when he went to sleep and he just woke up like this. Living? Ah. Enough. And Denise, do you work as well? Yes. What do I'm you do? Receptionist. You're a receptionist. Who makes more money? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, you, I do. you make I more do. money. Yeah. I pay the cable bill. Isn't that enough? 
All right. How does Jeff make you feel, Denise? As far as, like, happy. That's funny. I'm you said happy content. with an angry face. No. no. <laughs> Not angry. No. I think every couple before they get married should have to talk to should have to have Mark L. Wahlberg ask softball questions to them. <laughs> because if if like if if Mark L. Wahlberg's like like just light volley of questions like rattles you, I feel like uh, maybe that just that teaches you something. He makes me feel <laughs> Yeah, yeah, new show idea. Mark L. Wahlberg asking softballs. <laughs> so you're, you're engaged. Got a plan for the wedding? They immediately start fighting. Question three. Do you think your fiance, Jeff, cares more yes, about thank you for the gift than it. he does about you? Fortunately, yes. That answer is... True. Three truthful, three more, ten thousand dollars. Wow. That's a deep allegation. Sorry. What was the question, chat? I'm gonna try to not rewind it for once. Wow. How do you feel about? That? Wait, do they like each other? Sorry, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Cares more about money. Oh, do you think Jeff cares more about money than he does about you? He does. Fortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. Legion, thank you for the gift. Wow. That's a deep allegation. Wow. How do you feel about that, Jeff? Do you care more about money than your soon-to-be wife? You know, it's hard to make a living nowadays, especially in California. Uh, I try my best to split, um, you know, my attention between making a living and having a fiance, but uh, I got some work to do. Um, anything you want to say to her about that? No. Okay, let's move on then. This question is for you, Jeff. Question four. Do you have a secret stash of money that you keep from Denise? <laughs> Dude, they fa they find one thing about the family and they just freaking drive a wedge into it. They're like, money? All right, what's a hundred questions about money we could ask? It's like, so, just a real quick comment. <sighs> you know, you're entitled to have separate bank accounts, separate money, whatever, whatever, right? Um, but what's very weird about this is, well, well, the secrecy is like indicative of a, another problem, right? Like, y we could have separate bank accounts, but if you feel like you need to hide things, then maybe let's have a conversation about why that is, perhaps. But my main concern is the fact that some people are laughing and other people are the opposite of laughing. Some people are cackling. Other people are not so into that. <laughs> that answer is true. <laughs> $10,000. You have a stash you haven't told her about. I huh? do, yeah. Um, it's more for reserves, just in case anything. Um, so if she doesn't know about it, you know, it's better, better for, better for us. Actually, she, we won't cut into that. So. Wee. Okay. Yeah. I can buy that. Where's the wee come from? Let's continue. What attracted you to Jeff originally? Personality. What about his personality made you go, hmm, I like that guy? He's pretty out there like I am. Would you say you're out there, Jeff? <laughs> uh, 
Um, not that far, but I mean. This is so, it's so, str I feel like, it feels like I'm missing pieces of the conversation. <laughs> like when he gave the answer um, about the money thing, I was like, I don't know if I'm following. This is weird. Question five, Denise. Have you ever thought your fiance might be gay? <laughs> Yeah, true, it is edited, so that's literally true, what we're ha what's happening. I'm not to say yes, I have thought of it. That answer is... <sighs> I'm like, my mind is like, okay, so maybe th this is a fake couple. Maybe this is just, they're two actors, they're just pretending to know each other. True. That's five. One more ten thousand dollars. Denise, what made you think that? When was? Yeah, we're not a fan of homophobia over here. What's this? What brought it on? Let's just say he spends more time in the mirror than I do. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh, this was this the metrosexual era? You know what I mean? Where that was like a whole thing. Where it was like, guys who spend too much time in the mirror, you know what I mean? That was like a whole era. Huh? Yes. You look he's, good, Jeff. He's more concerned about the way he looks than I'm ever concerned about the way I look. <laughs> Jeff, how do you feel about the thought that it's called? Yeah, just like any any guy who uh, like cares about his appearance. It, it, like caring about your appearance is supposedly this like feminine quality, and so then... Um, I don't know what metrosexual actually means, but it was like a term that was used in television and stuff at the time. Like, it, I remember at some point when I was younger, it was like a term that was used that like felt just like any time a dude took care of themselves. Um, run away. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to look in a mirror? Okay, Jeff, this is a tough question. You must answer honestly if you'd like to have this $10,000. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Metrosexual means hetero, but you take a shower. Have you ever been physically attracted to a man? Okay. This is... It's like, it's like, don't put outing someone as a question on moment of truth. Don't do that. So this is this uh has anybody did anybody see Black White episode two when Jordan and I are watching it where which was two thousand six, this is two thousand eight, where um Carmen the mom was uh at the poetry like the poetry people were at their house and then Carmen the mom looked at one of the kids and was like, I don't get you. Are you gay? D like I feel like that like what was that about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you, yeah, like, I was like, why is, like, what is it about culture in this, like, window of time where people were just like, I've got to figure it out, <laughs> and you're not going to leave this room until you tell me your, your sexuality. I don't care if, I don't care if you're fucking, uh, in or out, but you, I need to know. Coming up. Jeff and Denise will face the toughest oh. questions of their lives. Do you want okay, Denise apologies to the YouTube audience who's like, Jarvis, you need to stop pausing. I just wanted to announce that Jordan and I did record Black and White Episode 3. Just letting you know, we recorded Black and White Episode 3. He's to be the last person you ever have sexual relations with. Oh, this is kidding. Is 21 questions. And their ability to answer each one of these questions with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Is there an honest person left in America? I'm Mark Wahlberg, and this is the Moment of Truth. 
this damn Jarvis. You need to stop playing the video, right? Uh, Austin, definitely cut out this pause. Batsy Boop, thank you for the five gifted. I'm going to go grab another one of my, like, fermented fizzy drinks. Be right back. The moment of truth continues. Are you ready? Ready. Question six. Have you ever been physically attracted to a man? No. That answer is... True. The true felt like it came from, like, it didn't come from the actual studio. Come on, dude. Felt like they ADR'd the true. True. Well, Denise, there, there you go. Whatever suspicion you may have had has been put to rest, okay? And guess what? $10,000. Now, while $10,000 is certainly a lot of money, um, if you're planning a big wedding, that's not quite <laughs> enough. So, would you like to continue? You need five more questions to get to $25,000. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When two people get married, it's not only the union of your love, but it also, to some degree, unites the two families as well. Anna, welcome. Jeff, how would you say the two most important women in your life, which would be, I'm guessing, your fiance and your mom, Yeah. how do they get along? It's, uh, it's... Definitely walking on uh, fragile grounds, I, th I think. Question seven. Do you think Denise deliberately does things to upset your mother? I'm not gonna lie to you. Denise seems kind of chaotic. <laughs> like, it seems like she's, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she was like, sowing chaos to fuck with the mom. I don't know why. I think it's because of the look in her eyes. <laughs> Just look at her. This is like the, she looks like the grown up version of the, um, of that fire baby, that fire child meme. Yes. She doesn't look the least bit surprised. Yeah, she's literally like, yeah, and I'd do it again. That answer is. And the mom's like, yeah, she, yeah, she does it. True. At 17. Eloisa, do you have something you wanted to say? No, it, I understand, you know, sometimes it, there's differences, and but that doesn't bother me. I expect it, you know, I mean. Jeff, why do you think that she deliberately does that? I think to play around with her a little bit. You know, I, you know, keep her on her toes, kind of create excitement. I noticed that the demeanor has changed. Your smile has gone away. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? I don't do it to be mean. It's so, there's so much chaos here. Question eight. Do you like Jeff's mother? <laughs> Yeah, Denise is the queen of side eye. Do you like Jeff's mother? Do you remember what you answered originally? I said no. Did she feels like a villain in like a lifetime movie or something? Like I Do you remember what you I said no, and I'd do it again, because I hate her. You answered originally? I said no. 
And right now, what would you like to say that you believe would be the truthful answer to this question? I'm going to stick with my answer. Okay, let's give <laughs> it a try. That answer is... True. So you got to it. That's eight truthful answers. What did you want to say? I have tried with her and everything. I have, and Jeff can tell you, I've always tried, bend over backwards to try to win her. I really wanted to make it work. Because if, you, if you're going to be married, you have to accept each other's families. And that's the only way it's going to work. But you know, you get to a point where you can do so much. If they don't like you, they don't like you. I'm willing to try with Denise, but it takes two to try. And that's not happening. Yep. Yep. That's not happening. OK, hear me out. You know how in Parental Control, the MTV show, the parents or no, the um, the boyfriend is always like a completely horrible person who like says things that are like like they're they're an actor. Right. It's like completely fake. And the actor is always like, nah, 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 boo, boo. And then they're like and they hate my parents. And then they're like, bah, 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 you suck. You suck. That's kind of how this feels, because I'm like Denise. We, I haven't learned anything about Denise that's – like she's – if anything, she seems very reasonable, right? And I'm like, what am I missing? What am I missing? Like – and she's not even like – like defending herself, I guess? And I'm, I'm like, interesting. Denise? Do you think that there's some truth to what she's saying? Or are you not trying Because I don't want to just jump to the trope of being like, this lady's evil, right? But I'm like, it almost feels like she's like playing into it. Yeah, it's not that I don't try. It's, it's kind of hard to get anywhere with that family. So. Oh. Why would you? But you're getting married. And they're here. They're all here, though. They're all, but, oh, but I mean, but what? Why agree to do this? You didn't have to do this. Uh, the whole family's here, you know? Everyone agreed. They all we all agreed. It's not that she's not valid. Did they drag her here? Was Denise the only one who didn't want to do this? I'm so confused. Not that I don't There's nothing wrong with like There's nothing wrong with like not liking your significant other's family, you know what I mean? But I'm uh, just like, why is why is Denise going full scorched earth? I don't understand. I, I like she's she's literally like, oh, and by the way, I lit your house on fire. I mean, it's just that you know you suck and I hate you. Don't try. It's, it's kind of hard to get anywhere with that family. Lori, yeah, what would you like to say, Lori? Hold on, I'll let you Yes, I would like to say something. Please. Okay? My mother and I, we have never done anything. We've never talked bad about her, anything like that. She just does not like us. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like my mother. And it gets to the point where you can't take anymore. Your patience runs out. And it's like, she doesn't, it, try. she doesn't try at all. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? It's not that I don't I don't dislike his mom. It's not that. I do, I do love her. I. Of course, I do. she's going to be my mother-in-law. Okay, I'm. Can it's not that I don't dislike. Hang on, there's too many negatives. I need to write this down. It's not that I don't. So I do like the mom. Okay, so she's saying she likes the mom, or it's not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she likes the mom. She loves her, but she also hates her guts. And it's, okay. Well, that that doesn't mean. You no, but, but Jarvis, she misspoke. Wait, no, it sounds it's it, it, she didn't misspeak. She said it, she said it's not that I don't like her. So she's saying she does like her. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what was going on because I, I got confused. It's not just her. And as far as I can see, the only person in that family that is genuine is Sean. Jeff, how do you feel about this? Uh, you know, it's, I hate being put in the middle of it. You know, it's But it's you know tough. I have tried it, Jeff. I, I agree, I do. 
Oh, it was a triple negative. You're yeah. caught in a difficult situation. Jeff, anything you want to say about that? She meant to do a double negative and she did a triple negative and that's why I got confused. Yeah, okay. I just, huh. I don't know. I mean, I just wish two, two adults can come together and just have respect. Okay, so now that we're having this discussion, I do think she misspoke. I think she intended to use two negatives and say that it's not that I don't like my mother-in-law to be, I love her. She's going to be my mother-in-law. But she said it's not that I don't not like her. She said she said three negatives and then it made it seem like she said it's not that I like her. I love her. No, no. There was – yeah. I Okay. I think it makes sense. Another. I like couldn't figure out what was wrong with what she said, so I had to stop to try and like process it. So we've heard a little bit about I wasn't it. trying to be I wasn't trying to be cute about like making fun of how she spoke. I like genuinely did not understand and needed a moment. The rub we've heard a lot about the rub between your fiance and your mother. How are you with Denise's family? I I get along good with every, every single one of them actually. Yeah. Yeah. You feel that's the case, Michael and Steven? I oh, love yeah. watching something oh, yeah. two seconds he's, at a time. He's like it's not very nice. If you can't get along with this guy, you know, get out of here. Question nine. Do you think Denise's brother, Michael, is stupid? <laughs> Do you think someone you know has been less than honest with you? Get the truth by playing the Moment of Truth Challenge. Text TRUTH to 33088 and you'll get a call back with details on how to play. Each challenge costs $1.99 plus standard text message rates. The Moment of Truth Challenge is for entertainment purposes only and you must be 18 or older. For more information, participating U.S. carriers and terms and conditions, go to fox.com slash moment of truth. Want the truth? Challenge someone today by texting TRUTH to 33088. It says the service is not available. The service is not available. Question nine. Do you think Denise also the ad looked like a <laughs> have you or a loved one been affected by like mesothelioma, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what it felt. Brother Michael is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Question is on you, Jeff. Do you think Denise's brother Michael is stupid? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Michael said, I don't care, and then he fully turned into the Joker before our very eyes. Watch this. Watch this. I don't care. Now watch him morph. I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, Michael. <laughs> the answer is true. Oh no. Would you like It's like okay, I I feel bad that we're laughing at Michael because like every part of that is fine. There's in uh, objectively like why would people think Michael is stupid? Like they're it's dumb to just think someone's stupid. That's fucked up. It like I support Michael's Michael Joker origin story. Well, you know he is. He's very he's uh he's very tech savvy. He's he's intelligent actually. But uh, what? Sorry. Would you like to tell us why he seems yeah. like a bright guy to me? Well, you know he is. He's very he's uh he's very tech savvy. He's he's intelligent actually. But, uh, you know, stupid is as stupid does. That's right, Forrest. And uh, I think he might know where I'm going with that. You know, it's it's on a female oh. naiveness kind of oh. level, you know? I don't know what he is saying. He said it's on a female naiveness kind of level. 
I do not know what he means. I, I, I have some guesses as to what he's implying, I guess. But I'm like, maybe he's going to elaborate. Oh, he's very naive with the females. Oh, very naive with the females. Also, females, red flag. Not, oh, who, is this, who is this fucking, like, pickup artist over here? Yeah, he's so naive with the females. He He's not uh, <laughs> engaged to someone who clearly doesn't like him. Na naive with the females, not like me who hides my money from my significant other. Sorry. It's just, I'm just making a, I'm just pointing out that you could make fun of this man for being na naive with the females. Not that we should. Not that we, not that he deserves that, but leave Michael alone. Anything you want to say, Michael? No. You've answered nine truthfully. And we are playing a game that can put significant money in your pocket. But at what expense? Denise, out of all of Jeff's relatives, who would you say is your favorite? Who do you like? Sean. Oh my God. <laughs> Give us something. Question 10. Would you be happy if you never saw Jeff's sister, Lori, again? <laughs> wouldn't bother me if I never saw her again. So I'm gonna have to say yes. Okay. What, what do we not know? <laughs> I'm like, what do I not, I, I like, I'm, I'm inclined to like, be like, oh yeah, this, you know, you're, you're valid in saying you never want to see people again. That's fine. But I'm like, what's going on? There's, there's like a, there's, there's something in the air and I just don't know what it is. That answer is true okay it's 10 truthful what's the deal you guys what what is it <laughs> story, and then we'll try to do this civilly and i'll let you both have a chance to speak what is the deal that Dude, as you guys the show pivots into jerry springer of odds i i i don't know what got started but i mean i came to cali four years ago for graduation just the way that she is, she's not friendly. Okay. Um, she's just, she's disrespectful towards my family, and I don't like that. I'm used to people who, even if they don't like the person, they still show them respect, and okay. she doesn't do that. Is that fair, Denise? Respect, you didn't show me any respect when you came out. You disrespected me in my own house and our friends when we dropped everything to cater to your needs, and you were ungrateful. That's where the problem is. Denise? Denise? This is so messy. <laughs> also, Denise's facial expressions are unparalleled. The Denise, she like doesn't turn, and then the Denise, and then her eyebrow goes up. Denise? Nothing. Denise? How did you. Oh, chills. Chills. <laughs> How did you feel she disrespected you? I didn't mind she was there. She was rude to our friends. You feel that's true, Jeff? I, as much as I love my family, I love Denise as well. Um, she did, when she did come out on the vacation, she wasn't acting like she should have. Okay. Who? That being said. Who was it? You've also said that she doesn't act the way she should have around your family. Correct. Is that true? Okay, so she was saying, so he was saying his sister didn't act the way. Okay, okay. okay. As well, Jeff? I'd say it goes both ways, yeah. Okay. I I know growing up with you, you're not the easiest person to get along with, but straight up, you guys both need to swallow your pride because it's really stupid. I'm like not in favor of like the pylon on Denise. <sighs> because now her own brother is like, you're also kind of a lot. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay. Okay, maybe don't go on the show before this kind of stuff is resolved. Let it go. 
Now, uh, Denise. I, I, I feel bad for Denise now. I'm sorry. Let's just move on and, and end it. Dude, could what could they, could Mark Wahlberg just be like, uh, I'm actually gonna call it here. You win twenty five thousand dollars, and also, uh, like I can't I can't allow this to go on. I just can't. This seems like it's actively dr driving disarray through your family. <laughs> Dude, she didn't even look her in the eye, which, I mean... Hello? Enough. Enough of that. Okay? Now, in the meantime, we're on our way towards $500,000. Okay? And you're one question away from $25,000, which is an important step. It's on you. <laughs> free Denise. What does that even mean? You now, Jeff. <laughs> Let Denise fly free. Get her out of this place. You're caught between a very difficult situation. Between your mom and the woman you've chosen to love. Question 11. You love Denise more than your own mother. Oh, <laughs> look if he's not relitigating this. Truth will continue. I like I feel like we often assume the damage that the show does to a family after they get off the air, but we have never seen a family fall apart halfway through the episode. Question eleven. You love Denise more than your own mother. Yes. That's the way it should be. That answer is... It's interesting that she said that's the way it should be because I don't like thinking about love in terms of comparison <laughs> because I don't know if you can compare loves. I don't think you can compare the love that you have for a significant other with the love for your mother. Those don't seem like they're... That's like apples to oranges. <laughs> your money to keep no matter what and it's a tough decision to make is Eloisa, how do you feel about it that's the way it should be when you love someone i feel that the wife comes first then the parents and then the kids twenty five thousand dollars is yours but at what cost you have to answer four more questions to get to a hundred thousand dollars that's only four questions but boy oh boy i mean do you want to do that? Why can't fruit be compared? Come on. You want an apple? You get an apple. You want an orange? You get an orange. You're not going to lose any money. Denise? Okay. I hope that's the right decision for you two. I wish you the best. Denise, how are your wedding plans coming along? Uh, they're not. They're not? <laughs> I can't take this anymore. How are they still up there? I've I've been defeated. And on hold? Uh, I mean, I've looked. I haven't made any rash decisions. Or any concrete decisions? No, none. 
Okay, so you sort of throw it. Except for on a dress. <laughs> you got the dress handled. I know which one I want. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't have it yet, but I know. Question 12, Denise. Since being engaged to Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? <sighs> the question is, since being engaged... <laughs> This look, like her sister was. It looks like she's about to hit the button. Engaged That's all. To Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? Yes or no? The muscles in my face are like uncomfortable. Well, if we don't go into that. They like they Pacific rimmed that. <laughs> they were like, we are drift compatible. We move in unison. Together, we are powerful than than apart. We're together, we will hit this button and we will re replace the question. Oh. <laughs> Siblings <Well>. unite! <laughs> we don't go into that one. <laughs> Stretching my There's jaw? No, question. the muscles are like in my Still eyebrows. Are you, are you in my okay, face. Denise? Yeah. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the time when you and Jeff were separated. <laughs> we were separated. How long? Um, five and a half, six months. Well, that's a long time. Not really. Here's the replacement question. <laughs> Mark, Wahlberg, well, Mark Wahlberg's face said, yes, it is. <laughs> she said five or six months, and he said it's a long time. She's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and then Mark Wahlberg did, said nothing. He moved on. But his face said, whatever you say. <laughs> not really. Wait. How long? Five and a half, six months. Oh, well, that's a long time. Not really. Here's the replacement question. <laughs> While separated from Jeff, did you have unprotected sex with another man? Always with these questions, dude. Slut shamey questions. Yes. That answer is Yeah, they're separated. It doesn't matter. She's true. single. Okay, we got through that. The button worked. Got it. But Jeff, were you aware of this? Um, you know, it was uh it was something that was kind of in the front of my mind. Uh, nothing in set in stone. Um, so, no, I guess. Anything you want to say to your future husband? Dude, Mark really had to hit him with the future husband right in that moment. Okay. I know he loves me. Okay. That's 12 getting a taste of how difficult the next questions are. Are you close with Denise's friends, Jeff? Um, her past friends, yes. Her past 13. friends? Have you ever had sexual relations with any of Denise's girlfriends? What was that? <laughs> The moment of truth will continue. She's going to be my mother-in-law. Well, that, that doesn't mean... You... No, but it, it's not just her. And as far as I can see, the only person in that family that is genuine oh, is Sean. Oh, it's doing the thing where yep. uh, where it's re it's restarting. So I guess... I don't know why that, that channel did that that way. The moment of truth continues. Question 13. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of Denise's girlfriends? <laughs> Sarah, we did it, Job. Yes. That answer is... True. Okay, Denise, you are uh, 
You're a mixture of emotions. You're laughing while tears roll down your face. Uh, did you know about this? Yes. I know who they were, too. <laughs> Why the tears? Because it's they sad. Were? Wait a minute. You knew who they were? Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah. More than one? Are you still friends with them? No. No. You've answered 13, and you've done great. Jeff has already admitted when we asked about you that he loves you more than his own mother. And that's one thing to say. It's another to have it proven with a polygraph. Now the question's on you, Denise. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm too exhausted to react to this now. It's a beat Is Jeff the most important person in your life? No. That answer is. I. She said, "You know why." I mean, like it's like the. He, yeah. True. <laughs> You said you know why. Do you know why, Jeff? I'll go ahead and let. I, I know why. It's because of what my mom's going through right now. She's fighting cancer. Oh. So she's. Is that what you're thinking about? Oh, yeah. Well, we can that was going to be my, my guess. I certainly understand that. <laughs> I'm sorry that your mother's not well. Certainly all of us here, including your soon-to-be in-law family, wish her a speedy, speedy recovery and miraculous health. That's 14 truthful. Again, I just let you know that it's just a game. You can stop. It's your choice to be here, and it can stop by your choice as well. You okay? You guys all right? $100,000 moment of truth, Jeff. Question 15. Do you want Denise to be the last person you ever have sexual relations with? This is such a weird, leash phrased question. What's your answer? No. That answer is. I mean, open marriage, maybe? True. Or they, you know, can invite some other people into the situation just for just for a hookup or a night or what? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to end the marriage, but it is, it, it's a, it's definitely a throwing it's, a, it's certainly a question. They want to swing. Maybe they want to swing. Well, first things first. That truthful answer has earned the two of you $100,000. Well done. It's a lot of money. Um, you want to explain your answer? Yeah. Um... It, life is so unpredictable. Um, well, that question, first answer that came to, to the table was no, because although I do love Denise, um, I love her to death, you never know what's gonna happen. We get married, yeah, marriage is forever, but you never know in this unpredictable world. Um, and I would not <laughs> want to go uh, If anything would happen to Denise, I have to find a replacement. <laughs> what? His answer could not have been worse. He somehow, we all came up with like that. <laughs> we all came up with like reasonable reasons that he could have said that. And then his explanation was like, when Denise dies, I'm going to need a replacement.
That was such a roller coaster. I, I truly did not ha- know how he was gonna land that that sentence at every word. I waited with bated breath to just hear where he would take it. But that is not the question. <laughs> the question is, do you want Denise to be the last person you ever have sexual relations with? And that was no. Okay. Oh, so he gave it he misdirected he's like well when she <laughs> as long as we're clear and congratulations a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> marcus like to clarify i wasn't asking about like in the event of something going wrong um you know like but would you want want Emphasis on want, and he's like, I said what I said. That's my answer. You got $100,000 if you stop. Only three more answers, truthfully, and you get $200,000. That's, <laughs> That's a down payment. For- Someone said, uh, he was like, well, now that you put it that way, also no. <laughs> yeah. The house after the wedding, and maybe even some champagne. What do you want to do? You can stop now, take $100,000, or you can go through the next question at least. Are, wait, are they holding hands even more aggressively now? What do you want to do? You can stop now, take $100,000. Now they, they were, I feel like they were just holding one hand, and now she's got both hands in the mix. $100,000, or you can go through the next question at least on your way to $200,000. Oh, man. Yeah, Couch, what do you say? Michael? Stop. I, no. And he's a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Steven? I don't know, it's kind of a toss up, but it's more money than you came in with. Lori? I would go for it, John. You'd go yeah, for it. I would go Sean? For I'm giving you the last word, Sean. <laughs> take a risk. Jeff, you're here to take a risk. Go for it. And that's what you came here to do, right? I would go for it, dude. I would go for it. Go you end for up. it. Go! All right, you've heard what your family and friends have to yes. say. You make your decision based on how you, you two feel. And by the way, I need both of you to decide. So this is like practice for marriage. Discuss it. Mm-hmm. Mark really just hit them with like a marriage counselor homework. Pretend you're married. Discuss this. Just take the money. Let's give it to you. Excellent. Good. All right, turn it. Fantastic. Let me come between the two of you. As if I haven't done that enough already. Uh, I, I think you may have made a very wise decision, and I'm happy to give you $100,000. But listen, before we go, I have an offer for you. I have one question for each of you. If you agree to go backstage right now and be polygraphed on this one question, and you answer truthfully, I'll give you $5,000 each. And by the way, if you don't answer truthfully, you still get the $100,000. It has nothing to do with that. Do it. Do it. Hold on. Hold on. Here's the question that each of you would answer if you chose to. It's coming up on the board behind you. Let's take a look. Do you still want to get married? Okay, now listen to me. Wow. Whatever your truth is, however it goes, you've got $100,000, you might want to just walk off the stage. Do you think there was, like, a producer, like, in the back, like, with, like, one of those, like, football coach headsets and, like, an iPad, like, running back and forth, and it's like, I think we... We, we could ask an extra question. Let's get the extra questions. Dust off the polygraph. Like, like, <laughs> let's... We're running an audible. Let us leave it as this. What do you want to do? Go for it. Go for it. I do. I know you got to. What do you want to do? Have you had enough? For, <laughs> Mark literally hit them with the, for $10,000, will you call off the marriage? Please. For the sake of all of us watching at home, will you please just promise to us that you will not get married? For $10,000. You want to do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do Let's it. do it. Okay? Yes? You guys can hold hands and head right that way. Right into the screen. The moment of truth will continue. The moment of truth. Underscore Ellie, thank you for the tier one. <laughs> Hello, you guys. 
Back to those uh, comfy red seats. I feel like I was just here. Well, you <laughs> dude, literally after this question, Mark is going to be like, wait, I have one more proposal for five million dollars. Will you get married right now? <laughs> and then they're like, I no, we can't. We can't do this. This is too much. Guys, this is um, appropriately a moment of truth. It is an unprecedented moment of truth. The hundred thousand dollars is yours. You guys did great. You stopped, and the money is safe, and this has no effect on that. This, however, could have an effect on your future. How long have you two been engaged? Two years. Two years, and you've set a date, but Jeff, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there's been some hesitation. Oh, definitely. Okay, so we offered you this proposition. One more question. <laughs> so it's a two years too long. Played. And we'll start with you, Denise. Uh, Serene, it's the for the episode. For but well, actually, it's for the show dollars. because we haven't seen you. Do you still want to marry Jeff? The the trigger warning command is for the show because we're watching episodes that we haven't seen. After tonight, I'm gonna have to say yes. His face doesn't look relieved. His face doesn't look relieved is all I'm saying. I'm not a body I'm not a body language expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. People are very out of pocket in the chat right now. Let's see if she's telling the truth, Jeff. That answer is her face is so funny. She's doing the whole. She looks like a, like a Kristen Wiig character who's going like, okay, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, I know I did it. That answer is. <laughs> true. Five thousand more dollars. Oh, the deep exhale. Uh oh. Uh oh. Five thousand, Denise. While the hundred thousand dollars you won together, the five thousand you won by yourself. So that you, that's yours. You can put that in your own secret account if you'd like. God, Lisa, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have one now. <laughs> Jeff, your question. Do you still want to marry Denise, given everything you've heard? He's like, is the question is Denise the last person I want to marry? <laughs> He's like, no, do you want to marry Denise? Is Denise the last person I want to sleep with? No. Do you want to marry Denise? Do I want to kill Denise? <laughs> God damn it. No, you aren't listening to me. No. That answer is true. Well, your truthful answer is worth $5,000. It may prove to be worth a lot more than that. Denise, are you surprised by his answer? Jeff, is there anything you want to say to, I guess you're still your fiance. Mark, Mark. Mark later is like, I guess she's still actually. What do you even call her? Y'all aren't getting married. Lost for words. I don't. Know. Well, I'd suggest. Well, I'm not gonna suggest anything. I know you're. Yeah, Mark, shut up. This is not. I. You've done enough. You've done enough, Mark. Lost for words. I know this is probably not the place you thought you would be having this confrontation. But we did offer you $10,000 for you to have it right here on Moment of Truth. And then everybody's like, ding! And then like it cuts to everybody in the audience going, woo! And it's important that you guys know this before you go any further or continue to kid yourself if you're not going to go further. So, Denise, is there any question you want to ask Jeff or anything you want to say to Jeff? If he doesn't have words, do you have some? Jeff, Denise, I appreciate you being here. 
I wish you both the best, either together or separate. And I hope this experience provided for you what you wanted. Do you think, Mark, you did not. That way he twisted the knife with that one. I, and I hope this is what you wanted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you all the time we have. See you next time on the He's literally like, and I hope you'll think twice before you sign up for a show. Like, moment of truth. Ding. Woo. <laughs> Somebody in the chat's like, this is episode one. And I'm like, yeah, dude. They're like, this season on Moment of Truth, we're destroying marriages directly. And now they're happening on stage. <laughs> Watch as Mark Wahlberg digs the knife into this this uh these this couple of fiancés to be wed. Coming up <laughs> on future episodes of A Moment of Truth. I want to watch this simply because um, we may not be able to find these episodes ever. More people willing to say anything. Give me one more. For a shot at $500,000. In the past year, have you shared a hotel room with a woman other than your wife? I can explain. Can I explain first? They're desperate to win the money. Let's go for it. And they'll reveal their darkest secrets in order to get it. Have you ever fantasized about the death of your father? and the inheritance you will receive. Since you began Oh yeah, I don't actually see these questions. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. So, that was something. Oh.